Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video, the series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series I just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering everything to do with an upcoming collaborative release. What I'm going to be covering is the collaboration between Alice and the WWE, as they are collaborating for week nine of Palace's Summer 2023 collection. <laughs> I'm the wrong guy to be covering this video, guys. Like, literally all my mates in, like, my very early childhood were into WWE, and I've had so many different mates over the decades, I say decades, plural, like it's a lot, <laughs> who were into WWE, but I just never got into it. It was just, it, it, it never caught on for me. So I'm literally the wrong guy to be looking at this collection today. <laughs> but I have to cover it because it's the latest drop for Palace's latest season. And to touch on that, I've got a full day of things on Friday and won't come home until probably like the early hours of the morning, like a whole, whole social gathering kind of type day where I'm doing a lot. Uh, so I probably won't get the drop list video out for week nine uh, at the same time But this video that I'm doing right now This streetwear talk video We're gonna be covering all the pieces releasing in week nine because week nine is just a collaborative week. So I'm kind of doing the drop list video at the same time and it's making me question if I even need to do a drop list video for week 9. If you want me to retouch on the pieces after the drop and do a drop list video after the drop, um, let me know in the comment section below and we can do a week 9 drop list video like on Saturday, but yeah, it just feels a bit weird. I think this streetwear talk video that I'm doing right now is sufficient enough. But uh, yeah, to get into it, like I've just talked about just then, Palace and WWE are collaborating together to do a series of pieces for week 9 of Palace's Summer 23 season. And in today's video, we'll cover the release details, the editorial, all the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the collab and the week as a whole, I guess. Um, how we're going to cover all that is by using a hype beast article. We'll head on over to that article now and we'll start covering the release details for this week nine collab. Here we are at the hype beast article that we're gonna be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you wanna check it out yourselves. But as the article suggests, Palace's Summer 23 WWE collaboration celebrates the WWE Hall of Fame uh, famer Mike Foley, which I'm assuming as old mate here, that shows you how much I literally know. I wouldn't even be able to tell you if it's a yes or a no on that, because I literally know nothing. It's like a total foreign thing to me. Um, yeah, there we go. Moving on down though, let's start covering those release details. And if you actually want to read about it all, it's all there. But anyway, the WWE Palace Capsule Collection will be available alongside the Summer 2023 Week 9 drop, which like I've looked at Max Merch Moore's Instagram posts. I've had a look everywhere. I think this is the only thing's releasing in week nine. And if I'm wrong, then I definitely will do a drop list video covering it all after the drop. But from what I know, that's the only thing releasing. Uh, it's releasing both in store and online on June 30th, 11 a.m. EDT time on the brand's online store. Um, it'll be releasing 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US or EDT time in this scenario, 11 a.m. GMT time for the UK. Uh, as mentioned here as well, Japan will get it one day later on July 1st, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time on the Palace web store and in-store locations. And then for China, uh, on Palace underscore skateboards, they will get that on the WeChat store on the same day as Japan, 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time. Uh, if you guys have any further questions about when and where it's dropping, let me know down in that comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can. But now we need to dive into the editorial, which is a very small, short amount of couple images there, and then we'll dive into the individual pieces themselves. 
I've only got three images for the editorial and for some reason it actually starts on image two instead of image one. I don't know why they've done it that way, but yeah, so image one, showcasing a couple of the hoodies, the crew necks, the shirts, lots of shirts for this collab. Um, and then I'm assuming the icon himself wearing one of the hoodies in black. Um, we'll move on forward. We have the shirt. We have another photo shirt there as well. Um, some, I guess, it's done in the style of like a poster. It feels like this would be something that would be hung up at one of the WWE events selling this merch. Uh, moving forward, we've got the crew neck sweater there and the hoodie being showcased to us. I can't tell if that's black or navy. It looks like a very dark navy, but the patches and the designs all over it are fun. They all look like they're chenille embroidery. So, you know, that's going to have that fluffy texture to it. I can get around this man, even though I'm like lacking in all the knowledge on half of the collaborator here, I can still get around some of it though. We've covered the whole editorial though, let's go check out all the individual pieces and see how this collab is shaping up. So here's the first piece, the hoodie, have a pal, uh, palace day, it's pal and then nice is cut off there with the uh, brand there, so that's kind of fun. We got a logo here, logo there, a couple logos here and there. On the back, it features that big graphic there, palace, love, and then the uh, stake going through the heart with the barbed wire in it. We've got the same hoodie coming in a navy, so I guess it is a navy there. Same graphic on the back. We've got a Krinex sweater coming in a gray with hardcore palace legend. Uh, I'm assuming, I, I think I skim read one of the paragraphs that mentioned that's his nickname, Hardcore Legend or something like that. Again, I'm totally out of the loop though. It's got it in a black here. We've got the photo tee there where he's holding up a palace uh, sock puppet, <laughs> which they've obviously photoshopped a bit there. Uh, moving forward, it's got that in the black. I feel like we kind of lose the photo image in here on a black shirt. I think it does look a lot nicer on the gray one. And on the, uh, on the white one as well, um, <clears throat> we have a uh, Palace Arcing logo t-shirt as well. Features like a, I guess like a goofy kind of font style there. On the back it says the same, uh, there's that little graphic on the hoodie. It comes in a navy. There we go there. Comes in a black case there. And we've got, of course, a tie-dye flaming shirt, because why not, man, why not? With a uh, pal ace on the back and then imposing in between the logos there. And it goes back to the hoodie. <clears throat> okay, well, that is all the pieces releasing in this week nine collab. Um, look, I don't understand, as I was mentioning, one half of this collaboration here, but I can't like knock it. So the t-shirts are fun. The hoodies are fine, the crew necks are fine. I feel like the aim of this, as they kind of like alluded to, is meant to be merch for someone from the WWE. I feel like it encapsulates that very well, so I can't knock them down because I don't understand the WWE aspect, but looking at it, this does feel like merch for that WWE wrestler. So I feel like they've succeeded in what they want to do, and I don't even have to know half about the collaboration here. So, I mean, you got to get points for that, right? Yeah, I mean, I think the hoodie is the best piece. I love like these all over um, patches all over it and stuff like that. The designs, they're fun. Um, I think the photo tee would just be a nice piece to have as like something that's a little bit more like, I guess low key, but you know, um, it kind of reminds me of all those like wrestling tees that you would see, or at least I saw when I was a kid. So I feel like this kind of speaks to me a lot as well. Um, yeah, all in all, it's fine, I'm sure. For um, Mick Foley fans, it's going to be like a, a big thing. For me, obviously, I, I don't understand some of the context to it, but I'm not going to knock it. It's all right. I got no beef with this. This is a this is a fun way to end the summer 23 season. I mean, I assume this is the way it's going to end the season because yeah, that like last week was the like the scraps, and then this week is a full collab week. I doubt they're going to do a week 10. It'd be interesting if they did. But yeah, I feel like this is going to be the last week. But uh, yeah, no, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. Um, how do you feel about this collaboration in whole? Do you like it? Do you not like it? How are we feeling about this one? Let me know how you feel about this week nine collab down in that comment section below. That is the collaboration that is releasing this week, guys. The WWE and Alice collab for week nine of the summer 23 season. 
to cover the release details. It's dropping on the 30th of June, or the 1st of July, depending on your region. Uh, we covered all the pieces releasing in it. As mentioned, if there is a drop, like if there's additional pieces from the seasonal pieces that drop on top of that, I'll cover that after the drop. But from what I've seen, it's just this collab this week, which yeah, we'll just have to wait and see with that one. And if you guys want, I can still do a drop list video for week nine, but maybe this video will just cover everything we need. <laughs> we'll have to see. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the whole collaboration itself. Maybe you're a huge fan of WWE and you really want the pieces from this collab. Um, or maybe you're like me and you have no idea about anything about it and you just uh, you just know the brand for Palace. Uh, so you know the collab for Palace. <laughs> Let me know. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this collab and what you're going to be picking up. Specifically that. If you're picking up anything from this collab, what are you grabbing? You're grabbing the hoodie, you're grabbing the sweatshirt, you're grabbing the t-shirts. Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace collabs, seasons, all that good stuff, you gotta give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator of them all, subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,655 subscribers before the end of the month. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of June. That's everything I gotta say about this week nine collaboration though, guys. Um, I wish you the best of luck if you are going for any of it. Hopefully you can pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next Palace video, until the next Drop List video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, I'll catch you later.